Welcome to our Procreate Tips and Hacks video, where we will be sharing tips and hacks that we currently use on Procreate to help make your digital art experience more enjoyable. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own stickers using the Procreate app. I will also show you how you can add in pre-cut backgrounds and make your sticker set transparent. Keep watching to see more. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this from us, and also pop over to our Facebook and Instagram pages for more information. Open the Procreate app and select your canvas size. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my video on setting up different canvas sizes in Procreate, it will really help save you time. I'm going to show you how I drew this sticker image, however if you would like to see a more detailed tutorial please leave a comment in the description box below. On your first layer draw the outline of the cup. On a new layer, this would be layer 2, create the cup lid. On layer 3, create the cup holder and add in some detail. Now go back to layer 1 and select the Salamanca brush in the painting brush set and color in the cup. Then go back to layer 2 and color in the cup lid and do the same for the cup holder layer. To create your shadows go to a new layer and use a gray color to create shadows around the edges of your sticker image, then select to the wand tool and the Gaussian blur function to blur this out. On a new layer, add in some highlights and your image is complete. Remove the background layer, so that your sticker image is transparent. You can leave it like this or you can add in a pre-cut background. You can do this by adding in a new layer and draw around the sticker. Now we are going to create a sticker page. Select a new canvas size, I'm using the A4 size canvas for this. Then insert your sticker image onto the canvas. Reduce the size of the sticker image and go to the cutting tool. Copy and paste the sticker image four times. Then merge the layers together. And then duplicate that layer. Once you are happy with the layout save this image as a PNG file. You can insert this onto any document. 
I'm going to show you how I will use these in the GoodNotes app. Go over to the Image tab and select your sticker file. Then crop it and you can place it anywhere on the page. You can also use it in keynotes on a digital template or sell them on your website. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to comment like and subscribe and visit us on Facebook and Instagram for more ideas and inspiration. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.